I am Diania Boswell Folks. This project was created for BAS slash MDS 495. The project is titled Coping with Chronic Illnesses in the Workplace. Now, let me start off by telling you about the problem. Chronic illnesses in the workplace have debilitating effects, not just for individuals affected, but also for their co-workers and employers. This is usually devastating all around. It leaves an air of uncertainty for all involved, especially for the affected persons. They worry about leading a productive life and sustaining a career since they may have to stop working while there is a flare of their illnesses. At these times, they are not earning an income while their co-workers and ultimately the company becomes affected by the domino effects of overburdened, highly stressed and unhappy staff. This will eventually lead to a decrease in productivity. How may we sustain ourselves with these limitations in the workplace? Good question. We can do so by empowering the workforce with critical information in identifying best practices and alternative solutions to help mitigate the issue effectively. Now let's talk about why this project is necessary. At my place of employment, more than half the people I work with suffer from one or more chronic illnesses, which have debilitating effects. There is task overload when other employees have to share the tasks and duties of affected co-workers. Staff seem highly stressed on and, and unhappy as a result. This project will highlight best practices and tools used to effectively approach and manage the issue in the form of an employee slash employer resource guide. In addition to a resource guide for employees and employers, the value this project has to my postgraduate goals are further research and career opportunities, which could result from the effort of this project to continue finding workable solutions partnerships, collaborations with relevant departments or services, such as the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare, the Idaho Workforce Development Council and Human Resource Departments. As Real and Martin 2017 states, a problem worth solving is one that matters and it needn't be a problem with world shaking implications or one that is faced only by Fortune 500 CEOs. Let's do some analysis of the problem. Projected total cost of chronic disease 2016 to 2030 in Idaho reports. Total cost of chronic disease from 2016 to 2030 in Idaho is $219 billion. In 2015, 1 million people in Idaho had at least one chronic disease. 357,000 had two or more chronic diseases. Chronic disease could cost Idaho $10.5 billion in medical costs and an extra $4.1 billion annually in lost employee and productivity. The National Center for Chronic Disease Prevention and Health Promotion 2019 reports, chronic diseases and related lifestyle risk factors are the leading drivers for healthcare costs for employers. This problem became significant after I was diagnosed with chronic illness and started working. It, it affected my abilities to stay productive. I also noticed many of my co-workers were struggling with one or more chronic illnesses. My company may refer affected employees to Family and Medical Leave Act, FMLA. The U.S. Department of Labor states that FMLA 
entitles eligible employees of covered employers to take unpaid job protected leave for specified family and medical reasons with continuation of group health insurance coverage under the same terms and conditions as if the employee had not taken leave. This is a temporary solution and is dependent on the affected individual's ability to recover and be healthy enough to stay productive within a 12 week period. But with mounting healthcare bills and cost of living, having limited or no income is not a viable option. Providing both employees and employers the direction to appropriate resources will be a more viable solution. Let's take a look at three innovative solutions. The first solution would be to acquire all the knowledge about the company's short-term and long-term disability plans or accommodation policies and seek advice on how to optimize the services or resources provided by the company and other external services. Since knowledge is power, the more you know about existing resources, the more you can learn how to utilize them for your benefit. It is also important to get information on other companies' plans as it relates to employee benefits for comparison and to see available options. If accommodations are just not feasible for those involved, the second innovative solution would be to explore other jobs within the company or outside of the company if not available. That will accommodate your abilities. For example, I suffer from severe muscle and joint weakness and pain when experiencing a flare of my chronic illnesses and I cannot provide physical support for my clients who are totally dependent on this type of support from me. Since I have extensive experience taking care of my clients' needs by following their individual programs, and I also have tertiary education, I could focus on evaluating and creating new programs for my clients by becoming a qualified intellectual disability professional. QIDP. This could be of significant benefit to my company because I have both knowledge and experience of creating and implementing the programs for my clients. A third solution could be exploring other career possibilities. In my case, I could try focusing on careers that are less hands-on and require little or no physical effort such as a call center, customer service, teaching online, etc. Creating social media content is also a possible lucrative option if you have that creativity. Overall, there is no one perfect solution. It is essential to create a pool of active solutions to ensure there are enough options to generate income while facing the challenges of chronic illnesses. In closing, maintaining employment for individuals with chronic ailments can be very challenging from both the employees and the employer's perspective. I was alarmed by the high rate of employees in my workplace who suffered one or more chronic illnesses that threatened to disrupt their career. It can be very challenging to find solutions to this problem as the effects of chronic illnesses can be very unpredictable, varying from employee to employee. However, there is usually one outcome, and that is disruption in work, which usually leads to both loss of income and productivity. While several approaches need to be taken to help alleviate the challenges of the problem, it is wise to begin by empowering both employees and employers with the information they need 
to see what options are available to them so they can make more informed decisions. An employee or employer resource guide can help provide a quick reference for employees and employers who are faced with challenges when their chronic illness disrupts their work and are searching for answers or options. This solution, coupled with other innovative solutions, could help to make an effective management plan for managing employees who experience disruptions in their work due to chronic illnesses and providing alternative options to generate income. This project could also provide collaborating opportunities with our HR department for further research and career opportunities. Thank you for watching.